Okay, so what's going on here? All right, so this is the Toyota Mirai. It's our newest fuel cell vehicle. It's available for sale this uh, October. And uh, what makes it special is the fuel cell vehicle runs on compressed hydrogen. And it's a chemical reaction that creates electricity that runs the electric motor. So uh, there are no emissions. It's uh, completely emission-free. Only water comes out of the tailpipe. Uh, it's very efficient. We're looking at 60-65% thermal efficiency for the vehicle. And um, other than those great benefits, it drives just like a regular car. So customers can um, fill up, go 300 miles, uh, and go to the hydro station, fill up again, and do another 300 miles. Performance is just like a uh, gasoline vehicle. Zero to 60 time, around nine seconds. Um, driving and handling feels just like a gasoline vehicle. Fueling time is very short, three to five minutes. So really, from our point of view, it's a great uh, it's a game changer. Right? We have carbon-free driving. So, can you, what do we got here? So um, this really is just the uh, uh, sort of the auxiliary or the the auxiliary systems that run the car. So what you see here on top is actually the power control unit. So this is where the ECUs and, and the software control the uh, the, system, the fuel cell system. And uh, right below that, there's an electric motor that runs the two front wheels. Other than that, it's just normal things: radiators, ABS systems. Uh, the fuel cell itself actually sits underneath the front seats of the vehicle, um, and right behind that are the two tanks that run the car that provide fuel for the vehicle. So there's uh, two tanks that store just a little over four kilograms of fuel, and uh, with that fuel you can go 300 miles. But tell me, how do these fuel cells work? So, this is an all-electric vehicle, but instead of plugging it in and recharging it, we will fill it with hydrogen. And then what we're actually sitting on right now is the fuel cell itself, which is essentially the motor. But what it does instead of um, you know, burning the hydrogen and moving a piston, it combines the hydrogen with oxygen in what's called an electric chemical reaction. Pretty much all that means is that it creates water and electricity. And the electricity goes to the motor that's right below our feet right here. Um, so it's a front wheel drive vehicle. And then it also creates uh, water, which goes out the tailpipe out the back.